Okay. Hey there. Welcome. If you are new, welcome back. If you're not, my name is Brittany and today we have a grocery haul going on. So I have two hauls actually. So the first one um, I'm going to show is from Kroger and then I will add in the clips that I took earlier in the day that are from Costco. Um, so I went to book. Well, actually I did a grocery pickup from Kroger and I actually went into Costco. Um, I will have a couple more things from HGB tomorrow. I expect that to probably be around 15 or so dollars. Um, just because there were a couple of things at, that they did not have in stock at Kroger. And so I'm going to have to go hit up HEB to get them. With that being said, I'm going to flip around and show y'all what I got. Okay, so we have um, the organic peanut butter, um, some chocolate chips for muffins and brownies. We, and we're complete, almost completely out of gluten-free uh, baking flour. And then um, this is really not my favorite flour. I prefer the um, King Arthur brand, but this is what is available at my Costco. Then I got some organic dried blueberries to try to put in muffins because I wasn't a fan of the blueberries in the other um, muffins. The muffins I made last week, I wasn't a fan of how they turned out with the blueberries and so we're going to try those instead. Um, some berry blend. My kids like to eat these frozen. I'm also throwing them in smoothies if they haven't eaten them all by then. Um, some baking soda for laundry and stuff like that. Um, we were completely out of avocado oil, so we had to get that. And then we have our broccoli florets, which these were a lot cheaper than I was expecting, and they're organic, so I'll probably be getting broccoli from there from now on. Some strawberry lemonade just as a treat for the kids. Our big pack of applesauce. This applesauce from Costco is delicious. It's a honey crisp applesauce, so it's not super sweet. It's kind of tart. It's my favorite. The kids don't like it as much, but they have their applesauce pouches and they can have those. And mama can have the honey crisp. Um, then we have the our maple syrup, our strawberry spread, some sea salt, um, some cans of tuna from my oldest, and then um, almond flour. And I thought this was a five pound bag, but this is definitely a three pound bag. I'll have to price check that if it's cheaper to just get it online or not. Okay, so starting over in here, we have a pack of fruit snacks. These are for after church. Um, parenting tip, if you have kids that are in service with you, totally bribe them with fruit snacks. I give my kids each a fruit snack if they were well behaved the entire time in service. I've got two bags of veggie chips. We have a pack of celery for um, our tuna patties that we are doing tomorrow. They're not tuna. I don't remember what the fish is. Some kind of a fish patty that we're doing tomorrow. I've got some cereal for our cereal day. Um, some chickpea rotini for our pastas. Um, then I have two cans of tomato sauce. One for a marinara. One for a meatloaf sauce. This is also for the meatloaf. These um, gluten-free Italian style breadcrumbs. Then I have a pack of strawberries for snacking, some ham for sandwiches through the week. Um, I have a bell pepper that's also for those fish patties. Potatoes, just because potatoes. Some sour cream, two packs of medium cheddar sliced cheese, um, a pack of mild Italian sausage for our meatloaf, the garlic sausage from Kroger, uh, for our beans on Thursday. Then we have a pack of butter, some apple juice, uh, which I actually didn't realize I bought this because I bought some juices at Costco and I thought I didn't get juice. Oh well, it'll get drank. <laughs> and so I've got three milks. Uh, one is for, I have one in the fridge. I'm actually doing two gallons of yogurt a week at this point. Um, and then I've got two gallons for drinking. We have our whole chicken. I'm hoping this goes well. The last whole chicken we got from Kroger, by the time we took it out, the uh, one of the organs on the inside was like dark green. So hopefully this one is not gonna cause a problem this time. Um, and then we have five bananas, which is shocking to me because normally I buy like 16, but my kids have not been eating the bananas very well. Yeah, good job. 
Um, we do have more fruit in the fridge. We actually didn't eat as much fruit this week as I thought we would, and I bought too much. So we have a couple of fruit options, but there's a lot in the fridge still. Okay, so my totals were 107 from Kroger and then 160 from Costco. And so um, we are kind of paring down on what we're doing. Normally whenever, I try really hard when I have a Costco shop to eat as much as we can out of our pantry because I know that um, Costco is gonna blow my budget for the week and so um, it does normally even out pretty well. I was, so I was at 270 for this week which is higher than my $200 um, grocery budget overall but um i did not end up going back to the store last week and so i had a little bit of extra wiggle room there and so it it evens out over time um and groceries are just high i think i say this every single <laughs> grocery haul but it's the truth um so i have misplaced my planner my house is a little bit chaotic right now and hence why i have this very strategically angled um and so i have misplaced my planner so i'm going to go off of memory on the things that are different. I will have the full meal plan in the description box below. So we're gonna have meatloaf for dinner um, tonight, potatoes and uh, probably broccoli. And then uh, tomorrow we are going to be doing those fish patties. Um, I don't remember what my sides were. I'm sorry, I will have it listed below. Um, and then on Monday we do have our life group and I am bringing charl beans for that and then everything else is staying the same as what I normally do. I am going to attempt one more time at my blueberry muffins, I think, because last week they were okay, but I think I can do it better. Um, and like I mentioned, I bought those freeze dried blueberries. And so I think that they will be much better with that. And my um, avocado oil, because I used coconut oil and I added lemon juice, hoping to add some like interesting flavors. Um, and I think I shouldn't have done the lemon juice um, and I'm going to do avocado oil instead of coconut oil because avocado has, avocado oil has more of a buttery flavor and I think it will lend more of a, um, richness to the muffins that it was missing, which y'all didn't ask about that. I'm just, I'm going to just tell you apparently. So anyway, moving on. Um, that's all, <laughs> that's all I've got for my uh, grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing and until next time. Bye.